for today's book. What we have here is John Meacham's take on a Life and Times style biography of Abraham Lincoln. What I mean by Life and Times style is what we essentially get is a pretty bog standard biography of Lincoln, but we'll pause to discuss various parts of Lincoln's story, how it relates to 19th century American history or the Civil War, how something is connected, or to provide more context. That would be the charitable way to describe it. The non-charitable way would be there is a lot of padding here, a lot of general American history, a lot of uh, pre-Civil War history particularly. If you're going to read a single biography on Lincoln, you could do a lot worse than this. It's pretty much standard, I'd say, as far as the current academic view of Lincoln with some decent scholarship. There is a lot of endnote material here. Uh, in fact, it's oh, a good third of the book, if maybe even a little more. You could certainly go through and, if you're interested on the topic, do some further reading. It's not that tight, though. That's the problem that I found with this. I've read a lot on Lincoln, uh, with the exception of Winston Churchill. He's probably the historical figure I've read about him mo most. So I know a lot of this already. You need to give me something new, something different. Uh, a different way of relating to Lincoln, his various struggles. The narrative itself is fine. It's uh, Meacham likes to point out that Lincoln was a man. He was a person like the rest of us. Uh, he had various views that some of which we consider downright horrible today. Um, but again, providing context with his times, they if not quite makes sense, they're at least understandable. And at least Lincoln did strive to change those views in himself and in the nation as a whole. The problem is that last year I read a book that did this whole life and times bit for Lincoln, a lot better than this, quite frankly. Um, reads Abe, Abraham Lincoln, in his times, manages to go deeper and find, quite frankly, more interesting connections. There's an entire section on that book talking about how Lincoln enjoyed wrestling and using it to exert his, his manliness and, and um, be able to control a crowd by doing it. That's not here. That's not in Meacham's book. Um, Meacham is looking more at Lincoln as a political figure, as an orator, as a thinker. There is some surprisingly frank talk about his relationship with Mary Todd Lincoln. Some of this is based on, I think, some dubious sourcing. There's a lot here about how Mary Todd Lincoln was jealous of um, women who were near Lincoln or, or appeared to be. Uh, I think some of these now are considered to be secondhand sourcing or, or not necessarily as accurate as, as we would like. Uh, there are a couple other canards that come up, one being that Lincoln, when he visited Richmond after it fell, that he sat in um, Jefferson Davis's chair, for example. That's something that's been kind of debunked in the last few years. I don't necessarily blame Meacham for this. The chair thing is in the Ken Burns Civil War documentary as well. It's not the end of the world, and it doesn't mean that I'm going to throw out the entire book. It's just something that if you are looking at this, that there are a few things that you might want to look into a little more. So basically, in summary, good, solid biography. Uh, I'd probably recommend Reed's Abraham Lincoln in his times instead, if you're looking at the life and times model of a biography. But this is certainly all right. I'm probably not going to pick it up again anytime soon. The writing itself is very good. Meacham can turn a good turn of phrase. But um, it's not the end-all and end-all. 